Hi, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Friends, in the previous video lecture, we discussed the graphs of sin x, cos x, and tan x. In this video, we will discuss remaining three graphs, basic trigonometric graphs, cosec x, sec x, and cot x. We will analyze these graphs and we'll learn how to see their domain, range, and period. Okay. On the screen, you can see the graph of cosec x. As we know that uh, cosec x is nothing but 1 divided by sin x. So this is the graph of 1 by sin x, that is cosec x. Let's analyze this graph. From this graph, you can see that this graph is defined for all the values except at n pi. It means it is defined for r minus n pi. What is n here? n is the integer n, r is the real value. The graph of cosec x is defined for the values of x. What are these values? R minus n pi. R minus n pi. What is r here? r is the real values and uh, n is the integer. So this is graph this graph is defined for the values of x r minus n pi means it is not defined at the values of n pi. Since this graph is defined at r minus n pi values, it means it is not defined at the values that are n pi. And n is the integer. If I put the value of uh, n as a 0, so it is. it means that uh, it is not defined at value 0. You see it is not defined at value 0. Okay. See this uh, axis, y axis. And... Uh, n pi again uh, if i put value of n as 1 so it is also not defined at value pi here is the value pi okay at this pi you see this graph is not defined at this value pi and uh, similarly putting n value 2 it is not defined at 2 pi okay and also at 3 pi and similarly on the negative axis not defined at minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi and so on so this was the domain of the cosec x and if we talk about the range then you see that where it is defined what is its range actually you see that uh, range of uh, this cosec x is modulus of cosec x greater than equals to 1 it means that this cosec x graph is having value greater than and equal to 1 and less than and equal to minus 1. It means it is having values greater than 1. If we talk about uh, the positive side of the axis, then it is having value for greater than 1. Okay. Okay. All the values up to infinity. And on the negative side, it is having value less than minus 1. In the range uh, minus 1 to 1, it is not defined. It is not having any value. Okay. So this was the range and what is its period? Its period is 2 pi. Observe here that it is repeating its value after every 2 pi interval. So it is its period is 2 pi. 1 upward, uh, observe from the uh, starting point origin that 1 upward curve and 1 downward curve. Okay, so it is up to 2 pi. Again upward curve then downward curve. So this 2 pi is the period of this cosec x. Friends, as I told you that uh, the graph of uh, cosec x is defined only for r minus n pi values of x and uh, we know that it is defined as 1 by sin x. So why it is uh, r minus n pi? Because you can easily understand this that uh, since it is 1 divided by sin x, therefore it is not defined at the places where the denominator that is the sin x is 0 and by the graph of sin x we have uh, studied earlier that sin x is 0 at n pi it means it is 0 at pi it is 0 at 0 pi 2 pi okay in this way it and at n pi so it is not defined at all these values where the sin x is 0 therefore we have written it as r minus n pi are the values where it is defined we have removed these n pi values so this was the graph of uh, cosec x we analyzed it now we will discuss the graph of uh, sec x friends on the screen you can see the graph of sec x 
this sec x is defined as 1 divided by cos x so it is only uh, defined on the values where cos x is not 0 it means it will not be defined where the denominator that is the cos x since it is 1 by cos x so the denominator that is cos x is 0 it is not defined at these places so where it is defined you see it that the, uh, from this graph you observe that this sec x is defined at r minus 2n plus 1 pi by 2 okay so it is defined at these places r minus 2n plus 1 pi by 2 so it means it is not defined at 2n plus 1 pi by 2 points let's put a value of n as 0 so it becomes in the bracket it becomes pi by 2 therefore it is not defined at pi by 2 similarly if i put value of n as 1 so it becomes 2 into 1 plus 1 means 3 pi by 2 therefore it is not defined also at 3 pi by 2 so let's see we can also put values of uh, n different values of n to check where it is not defined so how it is not defined let's see at pi by 2 this is the line pi by 2 okay this vertical line x equal to pi by 2 and uh, it is not touching this line it is there is no value on this line pi by 2 and the same way see this vertical line of 3 pi by 2 it is also not defined at this 3 pi by 2 in the same way if i put the negative values then it is not defined at minus pi by 2 line and minus 3 pi by 2 in the same way we can find various values where it is not defined on both sides of the axis y axis so this was the domain of uh, sec x now let's discuss the range of sec x range means what are the values that it can contain okay from this graph you see that sec x has values greater than either greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to minus 1 it means the values more than 1 and less than minus 1 the whole graph lies above above the values of 1 and lower the values of min, value of minus 1 no value is found between 1 and minus 1 therefore it is the range of sec x we can write it as modulus of sec x is greater than or equal to 1 in short okay and what is its period period means the duration after which it repeats itself so the period of it is it is 2 pi after 2 pi it is repeating its values so how the value of period of uh, sec x is 2 pi we can measure the period by choosing two points that are of same type in this graph and the distance between these two points so this these between these two points these two points are of same nature having same value and it is repeating itself after this 2 pi period so its period is 2 pi okay now we will discuss the graph of cot x we know that cot x is nothing but 1 divided by 10 x and also it is written as cos x divided by sin x i will show you the graph of uh, cos x divided by sin x and also 1 divided by 10 x to prove that it is nothing but equal to cot x and you we will get the same curve that you are seeing here of cot x okay but uh, the important thing that we will analyze by writing uh, by understanding it that cot x is equals to cos x divided by sin x is that uh, it is defined only at the values where sin x since cos x divided by sin x is cot x and in the denominator we have sin x so at the values where sin x is zero this cot x will not be defined and we know that sin x is zero at n pi values that is sin x by the curve of sin x we have seen that it is it has a zero value at a zero pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and in the same way on the negative side 0 minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi so n pi so it is not defined at values n pi therefore cot uh, so it is not defined at values n pi cot x curve okay so it is defined at values except these n pi values 
it means the domain is x belongs to domain is r minus n pi real values minus n pi values is its domain put n equals to 0 so it becomes 0 so it is not defined at value 0 you see this y axis it is not having any value it is not defined also at uh, value pi pi is having no value observe this pi from upside to down no value of uh, caught here similarly or at 2 pi 3 pi n pi i am talking about and in the same way on the negative axis minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi you see it is not touching it the graph is not touching these n pi values because sin x is 0 at these places cos x by sin x you got it so this is its domain and if we see that the uh, what is its range what are the values that it, it can take so you can easily see that it is having all the values from minus infinity to infinity okay you can scroll it down to infinity upward and downward you will find that its range is minus infinity to infinity so cot x is from minus infinity to infinity this is its range and what is its period it is periodic with period pi because it is repeating its values after every pi interval you can an, uh, easily analyze it either you can see uh, that from 0 to pi of again from pi to 2 pi these are the same blocks or you can say that uh, here it is 2 pi okay here it is having a value 2 pi and this again appears at 3 pi by 2 so 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 is 2 pi by 2 that is pi so it is having values repeated values after every pi interval so its period is pi so this was the domain range and period of cot x now i will show you how uh, the graph of 1 by 10 x and cos x divided by sin x is same as cot x let's draw these graphs also you can see this is the graph of cos x divided by sin x which is exactly same as the graph of cot x as it is nothing but cot x now see the graph of 1 by 10 x which is again cot x see this is same again 1 by 10 x is the graph of cot x so this was all about the graphs of uh, cos x and cot x now by these two videos this uh, group of two videos the in the first i discussed and analyzed the graph of sine cos 10 and here i discussed the graph of cos x and cot x hope you liked this video and uh, if you found it useful please uh, like and share it with your friends so that they can also get benefited and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such useful videos thank you for watching have a nice day bye